Firing! It's firing! It's firing! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, I replayed this starter. Uh, I tried turning over with my hand. It's almost gonna rip my hand off, so I'm gonna try this again. Oh my god, it's firing. It fired. I sprayed some starter fluid straight into the exhaust, and it fired. Might need some more. Hold on. It fired. It fired. I can't believe it fired. Oh my god, it. The third pull. Oh, yep, it fired. She fired. But it still seems to be getting enough compression to run, so. Let's see if we're still getting spark. getting spark definitely something's broken on the inside but let's see if we'll get her to fire again i can hear it's getting worse but if it stops going then we'll know something then we'll know something bad happened look okay. some more starter fluid quite a bit but you know what i want to see her fire again hopefully without blowing up but you know I'm excited to watch that back on the on the video. Oh. <sighs> oh my god. Something yeah, something's Oh that's cool. I don't know what happened. Something definitely happened. We've lost all compression. Connecting rod seems to be intact. Did we blow a head? Did we blow the head gasket out? I think we blew the head gasket out with that one. We've lost all compression. Something else broke. I'll give her one more try. Spray a little bit more starter fluid in there. See if she'll fire. If not, that'll be it. Make sure that doesn't get lost. I can't believe she fired. I should have started recording when I first started testing. So it fired a whole bunch there. Well, three times. Oh! Okay, my ignition is way too early. <laughs> yeah, ignition needs to be turned back. That is 100% positive about that. She keeps trying to run backwards, I think. I think that the last one didn't break in. This one probably did. I mean, no compression. Actually, I wonder if something's wrong with the piston. Oh, spray a bit more in there. See if she'll go again. I don't think it's getting enough pressure in the crankcase to draw fuel into the carb. I mean, I haven't seen the carb. I'll have to rewatch the footage. I mean, every time I spray some in there, though, the compression seems to go up. So I don't know. Hopefully she'll go now. Oh, yeah, she's going. She wants to go. Oh, compression's back. Hmm. We've got more compression. It only goes once, I think, because then it burns everything out. Spray just a tiny bit more in there, so it should go. There we go. Close up the cylinder. Not that far. Okay. That is awesome. I'm so excited, guys. Hey, I can hear my heart pumping. Holy crap, it's so loud. Nothing's broke yet. Come guys. <laughs> I can't believe it's firing. Still need to feel it, figure out the fuel system, but, but it's firing. It's going, yes. This is the video, oh, the video, oh my God, 11 and a half minutes. I'll give her one more go. Oh God. That much will work. Close up the cylinder.
Might have to use my electric turbo. Yep, something broke there. Oh god, something bad. Oh, he's locked up tight. It was trying to run there though. It fired like four, three or four times. Okay. Okay. Something broke, but 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 that but. Oh yeah, she's locked up tight. I think the crankshaft probably bent. I might have to remake the crankshaft. But Oh, never mind. Piston broke. I can see part of the piston in there. <laughs> yes, it was running though. <laughs> it tried to run. Did you see? It was like it turned over a couple times. I have to rewatch that footage. <laughs> oh my god, guys. See ya. Okay, well, I took everything apart. Piston did not fare very well. Only one piston ring on there because it works with only one. Piston didn't fare very well. Connecting rod didn't fare very well. And wrist pin didn't fare very well. This is all out of ABS, by the way. Um, somehow, nothing melted in here. Everything's fine in here, nothing melted. Crankshaft is not bent. Crankshaft's perfectly fine. Um, I'm reprinting the piston right now out of a stronger filament, nearly twice as strong. I, I messed with the uh, slicer settings, so it's got 50% infill instead of 20% infill now. Uh, walls are 3 millimeters thick instead of 1.5 millimeters thick. And it's printing out of Pryline, uh... Car carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate which is by itself about 1.5 times stronger than abs so now with everything it's probably two to three times stronger than original and i'm printing all the parts out of it including the wrist pin i was going to use this for the for the wrist pin but first of all it's probably too heavy and second of all i currently don't have a way to cut it it's a hardened steel rod and i don't have any uh cutoff wheels left for a angle grinder so a plastic one will have to do for now made out of the stronger filament and not going to be testing it tonight again because it's pretty dark out or getting dark out but i'm going to reprint the piston then the connecting rod then the wrist pin assemble it back together and tomorrow i should be able to throw uh i should be able to throw it back i should be able to throw it back out in the shop and try to get her to run uh definitely was my ignition timing my ignition timing was definitely off um, I'm going to advance it. I mean, I'm going to retard the ignition timing because uh, before, I, if you look over here, right about there is where the ignition breaks, right there the ignition starts to break. And that's pretty far before top dead center, so that's why it broke. It was backfiring. So I'm going to run it at top dead center. And as you can see, it's past it. So I'm going to reset it to run it at top dead center and hopefully or maybe even a little bit before maybe like five degrees before i mean after maybe maybe like five maybe like that much after top dead center so it's still so it's still igniting at like almost maximum compression but it will still it will it won't backfire like it did uh, so yeah uh hope that'll probably be in next video because this video is getting pretty long already but yeah new pistons going the new connecting rod and wrist pin and then test it again, and ho hopefully I can figure out the fuel system before then. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, th thank you all guys for watching. If you're watching till the end, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment your ideas down below. Um, I'll hopefully respond to everybody if I can. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.